finch. Here is your new tarp, your new hammock, and your cook set. Your hammock. And now for the tarp. More steaks. What do you think? It's my favorite setup. Three straps and a carabiner with two climbing rings. It's a very simple knot, I will show you later. Tarp is simple a rope with tensioning with a Prusik knot. This way you pull it tight, nothing can happen. The tarp is from building plastic with the quite thick stuff. I reinforce the edges with duct tape. And if you break it, it's very easy. Take a piece of duct tape and you can fix it. The hammock itself is 100% nylon, uh, sorry, polyester. And that's it. So we have the tree strap. Then the carabiner hooks into that. And then the rope goes once completely through, completely over, and then through the middle out. This way if you pull it shouldn't come loose but if you pull on this rope you can tighten it very easily. And then I would suggest two slip knots just to be sure. So once through so you have a long loop. It's quite hard with one hand but and then the same thing with the loop again, so you have a double 
two slip knots there, just in case. Opa. So it really cannot go loose. And if you want to make it loose again, you just pull one. I hope it's a bit visible. Pull the second one. And open these two and you can just pull the rope completely out. Very simple, very quick. Here's a cook set. Very simple, very basic. Stainless steel cup. Side of fire steel. Small pouch with tea, water purification tablets, salt and pepper. And a mini hobo stove. Make a fire inside with twigs. Get a good flat surface. And you can boil your water for some nice tea or whatever. I will make now a cup of tea for myself, but I will use use my own cook kit, so I don't make this one dirty. There you go. Here's my hobo stove. I put there some birch bark and this is one of those magnesium strikers. First you scrape off the magnesium and then you strike this part which creates the sparks. So first I will scrape a bit off. I hope you can see it. Put it on a beach bark and then light it. There you go. And then you can put the twigs or other stuff that burns pretty well. Oops. Let's make some tea. Small note, this is how it originally comes. I took off the lanyard and the striker and I put this on my knife. Put there the one part of a pencil, so there's a plastic tube and then a duct tape or bicycle inner tube to keep it in place. And then I can strike the striker with the back of my knife. So it's an easier way of getting it. I have a boil. Now I'll let it cool off and then. Cut this up, put it inside. So.
So, in case you're wondering why a hammock and a tarp in a cook set, well, maybe you go on a motor bicycle trip again, or you go more into bushcraft. And this is perfect for a day out or even a weekend. For a weekend, you will need a sleeping bag, but hey, that's easy. Proust. So Mr. Finch, I hope you like it. I'm gonna send this to you on Monday morning when I'm back at work and try it out. Let me know how you like it. I changed a small thing on the setup. I put those two trees in the corners so it's more up and have a much more bigger view instead of like this. Nice thing is you have a lot of light and if it's night and there's a full moon you could even see the full moon. Not the stars, but the full moon. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my cigar, drink the rest of my tea and uh, see you out in the bush. Ciao!